Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we have what's probably my most requested video. It's a video comparison between the Chameleon F Loop and the Chameleon P Loop. So we're going to take a look at them. We're going to compare them, see what different options they come with and uh, what they're all about. To make it easier for you to decide which one, if, if either, is the right one for you. So stick with me, and let's get started. You are listening to the Emergency Broadcast Systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign So I'm going to start by saying I've seen other videos from other channels who have done reviews on the P-Loop and also on the F-Loop, and I'm not really satisfied. And I think the reason is very few other channels understand the utilitarian nature of either of these antennas. Let's see if we can step up the game and augment those other videos. Let's start with the Chameleon F-Loop. So what many people don't actually know and what most companies don't tell you when they're comparing themselves to the F-Loop is that it actually comes in three different variants. This image shows the most basic F-Loop configuration. This is also the one which other companies like to compare themselves to. In this configuration, the F-Loop operates from 60 through 10 meter bands. Now, I suppose many people haven't realized that the Chameleon F-Loop also includes, at no additional cost, the 80 meter conversion kit. The 80 meter conversion kit expands the F-Loop coverage from 80 meters through 10 meters, and again, at no additional cost. Now, in addition to the 80 meter kit, we also have two additional accessories. The first is the aluminum radiator, and the second is the booster kit. I'm sure the aluminum radiator creates lots of headaches for companies comparing themselves to the F-Loop. At one inch in diameter, the aluminum radiator is much more efficient than the LMR 400 based variant. With the aluminum radiator, you can expect efficiency and performance to increase on 60 meters through 10 meters amateur bands. And as far as I know, no other LMR 400 based mag loop has the ability to be upgraded with a one inch aluminum radiator. The latest accessory in the F loop Lego box is the booster kit. This kit includes a 4-foot LMR 400 outer loop, as well as the support tower. Like the aluminum radiator, you get a massive upgrade in performance. Unfortunately, with the booster kit, it's at the expense of the 12 and 10 meter bands. At the end of the day, the best way to look at the F-loop is like a giant box of Legos. But let's summarize what we've learned. There's the basic F-Loop kit with the LMR 400 outer loop, which also includes the 80 meter upgrade. There's the F-Loop Plus or the aluminum radiator that you add to the basic F-Loop. There's the F-Loop booster kit for 60 through 15 meter performance boosting. And finally, there's the RTRR, Remote Tuner Rotator. So if I had to sum it up in just a few words, I would say the Chameleon F-Loop is a user configurable system which allows the user to adapt to changing environmental variables. So let's close the F-Loop with one of the many QSOs I've made on SSB with this antenna. All right, here we go. Uh, sorry, I still missed it. Uh, can you hear prefix? Oscar Hotel. Oscar Hotel. QFF? Okay, Oscar Hotel. Got it now. Yeah, I'm beaming east, uh, so uh, you, you are uh, 55 from the side. Uh, my name is Wolf Whiskey. Oscar Lima Foxtrot. QSL? QSL Wolf. You are 5x9 plus. 5x9 plus here. 
and uh, we're using, we're actually, we're a portable station, portable from the garden. We're using a magnetic loop antenna and Fox Tango 817, and we are beaming you at the moment, QSL. Okay, very good on the, uh, uh, Eight one seven. So you are running five watts, uh, Roger. Yes, QSL five watts. Okay, very very good, Julian. Your signal dropped. I think we are losing propagation. The signal dropped. Uh, my name is Wolf Whiskey Oscar Lima Fox, and the QTH is Munich. Uh, uh, Julian, thanks for calling in. Uh, we'll see you uh, maybe on. on if adaptability were the main design goal of the F-loop, then the P-loop's primary function should be portability. But let's start by showing you a QSO from Lapland. Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango, November. Thank you, you are 5'9 and number 1. Well guys, the Chameleon P-Loop is a 40 meter through 10 meter magnetic loop antenna. Like the F-Loop, its output capacity is 25 watts SSB and 10 watts CW. It has an aluminum inner loop and an LMR400 outer loop. It's tripod mountable with a telescopic mast or it can be hung from a tree using paracord. If those weren't enough options for you, you can always use the adapter and use the jaw clamp to mount it to some fixed structure. Unlike the F-loop, the P-loop only has one significant upgrade. That's a four foot in diameter outer loop kit for 40 through 15 meters. Now this isn't on the Chameleon website yet, so I don't know if or when they're actually going to promote the booster kit for the P-Loop, but I hope it's on the way. For me, the additional gain and performance that I get on 40, 30, and 20 meters is absolutely worth it as my focus is on emergency communications on those bands. So I'm perfectly willing to give up 12 and 10 meters as I rarely use them anyway. Now a lot of people give me a lot of crap on the channel for using Whisper as a means of comparing different antennas, but we're going to do it anyway. Now I have to start by telling you that my testing was done between the 13th and 15th of October 2016. For those of you who are paying attention, there was a solar storm exactly at the same time. So bear in mind that these results were done during the solar storm. But never mind that. Let's go. Operating conditions were Yezu Fox Tango 817 through the Whisper Beacon app on Android, and I was beaming south by southeast. As expected, incoming reports dominated the south by southeast. However, to my surprise, it seems the P-loop outperforms the basic F-loop in the default configuration. The second test seems to suggest more balance between these two antennas, so I think we need to do um, a lot more testing. Now since I have the gear here, I wanted to go ahead and test the F-loop plus against the P-loop with the booster kit. Now I have to tell you, this test was far more interesting. Now, even with the band conditions as they were because of the solar storm, I was able to get a very good dispersal area on 30 meters with the F-Loop Plus. Moreover, the P-Loop with the booster kit also showed significant increase in performance on 30 meters. That's exactly what we expect and it supports the numbers published by Chameleon Antennas. Now because of the solar storm, I thought it might be unfair to publish only those results. So here are results from previous published tests. Now this first report is from Antarctica, and if it were only once, I would say it was probably a fluke, but I've received this report from them on several occasions, several different times. 
On the other hand, we have the P-loop. The P-loop was east-west oriented next to the sea, less than 5 meters from the seashore. Again, we were using Fox Tango 817 with 2.5 watts. And in the course of 15 minutes, we're able to reach Asia, North America, and a wide coverage area of Europe without moving the antenna. So now let's take a look at what's included with each antenna. Starting with the F-loop, it includes its matching box, the LMR400 coax outer loop, its coupling loop, the 80 meter conversion kit, the hardline tower support, 12 feet of RG58 with integrated RFI choke, a Molly bag, and a user guide. In contrast, the P-loop includes its tuning box, the Faraday coupling loop, the LMR400 coax radiator, a stainless steel adapter from quarter 20 to 3 8 24, 12 feet of RG58 with integrated RFI choke, a cotton canvas military messenger bag, and its user guide. Just food for thought, if you're thinking of buying another manufacturer's loop, then make sure the things that are included with the Chameleon are also included in those loops when you compare the price. Now we get into final thoughts. So one thing you can be absolutely certain about with this channel is I absolutely beat the crap out of the gear that I review. I don't get something for a week or a couple of days or even a month or two. I review it for a month, for a half year, for a year, for two years, and I come back to it over and over and over again and show you how it's performing over time. So when you see me presenting these results either in social media, on Instagram, Facebook, or Google+, you know that I've done my due diligence. I've beaten the crap out of this. I've probably broken it or tried to break it. And I've brought you all the experience that I can with the particular product that I'm reviewing. And this is the difference between my channel and those who would try to emulate it. So there's no Fast and Furious. There's no Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am. You can't get a free ride just by sending me gear. And of course, you know that already, because that's why you're watching. So, which one should you buy? Honestly, that depends on your requirements, but I'll say this about both antennas. The Chameleon F-Loop is for the operator who wants his magnetic loop to adapt to the day-to-day -day changes in his operating conditions. On the other hand, there's the P-loop. This is the mag loop for the utilitarian. The operator who wants to drag it through the rough and expects it to work regardless of where they find themselves at the end of the trail. There's nothing fancy about it. There's no gimmick. It's just built tough and smart. All right, guys, don't forget to check the description where I've left additional playlists and videos from the P-Loop and the F-Loop, from myself, from Comms Prepper, and a couple of others. Also remember, you're welcome to ask me anything you like about the F-Loop or the P-Loop in the comments. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, support us on Patreon, find us on Pinterest, Google+, and of course survivaltechnology.net where we share lots of news, information, and articles from our channel buddies. Finally, if you've enjoyed this video and you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Alright guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching.